everyone, I'm Josh from Hectic 4x4. Um, welcome to our first video. In this video, we're going to be installing an ARB bull bar on a Mitsubishi Trident MN. Um, quick note, I'm pretty sure, like 99% sure, that the MN bull bar will fit an ML. And an ML bull bar will fit an MN. So, yeah, let's get into it. Take the grill off, there's just a few little pop things here. They'll just pop out, you'll see them. And you just pull the whole grill this way. Now we've taken off the bash plate and the nudge bar. Working on getting the flares off. So there's two screws there behind the number plate. <laughs> Disconnected the mud flaps. They're just a few screws on the side here. And the flares just pull off. Bumpers off. Two screws at the front. Mud flaps and flares. And all these little bits on the here. These are all the mud flaps. Mounting bracket sits so on top of that bumper, the old bumper push thing. That's a chassis. <laughs> chassis, whatever it is. It's just sitting there now. Sits on it like that. That's the toe point. <laughs> See where the hole lines up. That one. And this goes in between the bracket. Chassis. Yeah, so we're about to drill a hole through the chassis. That's the hole in the bracket. There's a bracket. The bolt needs to go through there. Pop out this side. And feed through this. So now it's off. Uh, that's our mark there. And this sits behind it. Like that. One. Sits there. So now we got it in. This is a chassis. That's that little bracket I was saying, which is in between. And this is the bull bar mounting bracket. So on the left side on the chassis, there's a, a top screw hole. It's actually got thread there. And um, the bolt you need is an M10 by 1.25 that thread. Which they don't sell at Bunny. Got mine from super cheap. On the passenger side, it's just you just put a bolt straight through any bolt. Now we've just put in that washer there. Oh wait, try to get a so that's a big washer there. That's the chassis. That's the bull bar bracket. So you sit it up in that hole. You leave the bracket off the chassis and it drops in, and then you put the bolt in. And that threads into the this one threads into the um, the chassis. Same on this side. You see it better this side. So you put it in there. So you put that bolt with the washer in. It's got a big washer. We use the crowbar to lever off the chassis. Then the um. The bull bar bracket, so we leave them apart from each other to get that washer, that big one there, in position. So now we're going to put a bolt through that one. So we're going to put a hole in the in the chassis. We're going to put a hole in the chassis and connect this front of the bracket. Connect the front of the bracket to the actual chassis. Yeah. Bolt number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, 
number six. That's all the bolts. I just lifted it to see how it would fit in these brackets here. These ones. They're in the way, so we'll have to get get rid of those. That's almost the main bracket that holds the bumpers. So that's off. We've also taken off another little bracket. We've taken off this bracket here. That's come off. Alright, to remove this bracket, <coughs> we've got to get the <coughs> windshield wiper spray bottle out the way. Because these are the bolts there, but the bottle is there. So there's one bolt here. One bolt up there. Once you get in, you, get, you access it through the um, rear latch. There's one bolt just here. Which also access to the wheeler. So now we just lift it into position and see how it looked. That washer bracket needs to come off. That's just in the way, so it's just chopping out some snips. So now we're going to tighten up all those bolts. Every single bolt we've put on, they've all just been loose. So we're going to tighten them all up now. Now it's raining. And we can't fit in the garage. Check out over these brackets. Quick note, now before you put all the other finished stuff on, get these on. These little slip on things. You get them from Clark Rubber, 12 bucks a meter. Got the grill back on, it just pops back on, same way we took it off. Got these sides on. Wait, I'll come back a bit. These sides on. Alright, next step. Get your bash plate back on. Get that thing, that other bash plate on. Put your mud flaps back in. And here's the finished product. Um, this bull bar set us back 400 bucks. We got it second hand off... Um, Facebook uh, MN model um, and this one we installed about a year ago I got it second hand as well for I think 240 bucks off a bloke off Facebook as well yeah